Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello welcome uh, students to the NPTEL course Visual Communication Design for Digital Media and in this module uh, we will start discussing about types of dig uh, digital media technologies. In this brief, uh, before we have started uh, discussing on vis uh, what is visual communication design. So we discussed uh, what are the elements of visual communication design, what are the principles of visual communication design and from this uh, module onwards we will start discussing on what is uh, uh, digital media. Digital media is also um, sometimes called new media because uh, a new media is uh, the t um, uh, paradigm uh, where, where the digital um, influence, digital pla platform is started. So uh, to understand uh, digital or new media, we need to understand what is media, what, what we uh, talk about, uh, what, what we uh, denote when we tell uh, this is uh, digital or traditional media. So media is a platform or mode of mass communication. So, uh, the platform where people interact, where people uh, interact with each other by sharing knowledge, by sharing news, sharing information or people take or gather knowledge from a, from a particular interface. It can be a digital interface, it can be a traditional interface. So, uh, for example, if we uh, think about the previous times when uh, people uh, used to start, uh, used to spread news by um, by announcing, uh, announcing in a public plaza and uh, playing drums and then they uh, started um, an uh, announcing, uh, then, um, announcing different news and that was the initial uh, started, uh, starting of uh, uh, communication. Then uh, there were uh, scroll paintings, uh, then there were uh, paintings on uh, church's wall, painting on so even the cave paintings are also a um, way of communication. And gradually we evolved from that era and the, uh, the newspapers, pamphlets, all this print media started uh, and uh, right now we are in the age of computer and the computer became the platform of media. And from that time onwards uh, we uh, started um, talking about digital media as a new media and that's a paradigm shift. So uh, initially the paradigm of media was completely different, it was traditional right now it is uh, based on digital. So if we uh, think about the evolution, first the traditional uh, medias were uh, theatre performance, paintings. Even in uh, Indian context, we have our scroll paintings, we have our wall paintings like Madhuvani, we have uh, scroll paintings like Patachitras, those were the uh, traditional medias and even the shadow paper trees, those were the traditional Indian, uh, uh, in Indian context, those were the traditional um, media, uh, traditional old media. Then uh, when uh, during the renaissance in Europe, Gutenberg uh, developed a machine which is press and the first uh, he what he printed was uh, the Bible, the Gutenberg's Bible that was around uh, 1440s. So that time onwards print media started and the print media, uh, when, uh, within print media we have newspaper, we, ha we have pamphlets, we have advertisement posters. So actually from uh, if we compare the theatre performance, theatre performance has the capacity to target less audience, only a theatre hall, only uh, who's uh, even the paintings on the church's hall who is visiting the church can only see that, can have the communication, uh, can um, have a uh, interface between the um, uh, painting and um, humans uh, communication can happen. But in print media has a larger um, reach, it can target larger audience. So this was actually required during the renaissance, uh, during the renaissance where uh, people migrated from village to uh, cities and uh, industrial revolution started. So during industrial revolution, uh, advertisement of new products uh, were required and uh, that time rail engines and all these things were uh, started developing. So newspapers were easy to distribute, it um, uh, distributes through vehicles like uh, rails and, and it reaches a um, uh, larger target audience. So the capacity uh, uh, to target an um, audience is gradually becoming higher. 
even from print media to if we think about the invention of uh, first programmable computer that is that happened on uh, 1830s by Charles Babbage. So, computer has even larger it can target even larger target audience. So, it can actually uh, have an impact globally. So, it does not need to uh, reach uh, the um, user in, in forms of tangible newspapers where the information can be digitally stored and anybody from all over the world can access the uh, uh, media. So, gradually the media become uh, more popularized it can one uh, information can be ex uh, accessed by many people. So, in uh, today's di uh, digital or new media we have social networking sites like uh, Facebook like Orkut uh, which initially was there and um, other uh, social networking sites uh, like uh, WhatsApp mobile uh, application where people communicate and even the people uh, who is uh, specially distant uh, like uh, sitting in a different country they can communicate through these uh, social networking site and in, uh, exchange uh, information and knowledge. Even the animated movies which can uh, which we can up upload in uh, digital platforms like YouTube and all over the world people can see that and even the digital games somebody uh, from other side of the um, earth is uh, programming the game and uh, we are playing it. So, these are the new uh, digital uh, media platforms which are available today. So, what are the characteristics of new media? So, it is based on digital platform definitely and all digital media including text, image, video, it can be 2D on 3D shapes. Uh, all are uh, 2D and 3D shapes for example, uh, buttons and breadcrumbs, uh, breadcrumbs are uh, the button um, um, which we um, use for navigation which we will discuss in the later uh, classes. And so, all these are actually uh, digital uh, informations which we can store which we can use in digital media platform. And the uh, main thing is it can allow easy access and larger target audience which we uh, discussed earlier that uh, the target audience and accessibility and uh, is gradually increasing in me uh, media from traditional uh, old media to the new paradigm of digital media. So, in contrast uh, to old media new media is interactive and uh, yes if we consider uh, the painting uh, on the wall of churches or the scroll paintings users cannot interact with that. The way the performers are performing the theatre, the way uh, a painter is painted user can only have that information. But here if we uh, uh, think about uh, animation, uh, if we th think about a gamified experience of a web application, we can click on a particular button and see what information we need. So, here actually users involvement is much more and user can tweak, user can uh, select what elements they want to display and uh, they can create their own path of interactiveness. So, there is a heuristic experience which they can uh, generate and each and every uh, user's heuristic experience will be based on their uh, it's it's will be um, subjective and based on the particular user. So, heuristic experience is like uh, the term heuristic is uh, means that uh, the way user um, interacts with the um, uh, interface or the, uh, the way uh, they evolve uh, the interaction evolves through around the user. So, it is a uh, term which will be again discussed in the detail of uh, de uh, detail uh, uh, discussed det uh, in detail in uh, design uh, methodology. So, here on the uh, this side we have traditional old uh, media. I have selected Indian traditional media. Uh, for example, this first uh, is uh, covered uh, painting, uh, covered uh, wooden shrine is uh, based on Rajasthan. So, uh, they uh, used to uh, tell a story by uh, this folded panels of wooden panels. So, gradually one wooden panel will unfold and one story will uh, they will uh, there will be a uh, narrative there will be a song uh, attached to uh, each and every painting and then again they will unfold another uh, panel and the another song will start. So, gradually this is actually a storytelling approach where uh, traditional Indian uh, uh, the Rajasthani uh, vernacular artist used to uh, follow. This one is actually um, uh, Bengal Patachitra this is uh, 
Bengal Patichitra's Nayagram um, Gharana. So, this is also a uh, scroll painting of Bengal. So, similarly, they also have each and every pata has one song associated to this. So, this is actually a um, vertical uh, scroll where there are multiple frames. So, actually, uh, this each and every frame uh, you can connect this with uh, uh, animated movies. So, each and every frame has one shot and one uh, song is there and the next shot begins and the next painting, uh, uh, they unfold the next painting and the next uh, song starts. So, this is a traditional media, uh, media which evolved into animation and movie uh, from there. So, this is also, uh, this is a uh, Kalamkari uh, painting of South Andhra Pradesh. So, here uh, the paintings are there and also uh, Telugu and uh, scripts are also there uh, which describes the painting. This is a cover painting from Bihar. This is a wall painting where uh, there is a, a graphics, uh, there is a, a storytelling uh, approach is applied here through the um, uh, where the base is wall. And here in the new media we have on the other side wave applications, digital uh, graphics, animated films and digital uh, gaming interfaces. So, the, uh, if we uh, start uh, discussing new media, we need to understand the salient features and characteristics of new media. So, new media as uh, described by Lev Manovich in his book, The Language of New Media as, uh, by MIT Press, uh, you can uh, follow this book. This book, uh, in this book, Manovich describes the five key characteristics of new media. The first, he says, it's, it has the potentiality of numerical representation. Second, it has, uh, it has a modularity, it is mod, um, to represent new media, a modular approach is uh, followed. It, uh, there is a, pro a provision of automation and variability based because of the numerical representation and modularity of representation, uh, modularity of uh, data, um, data representation and it follows a principle of transcoding. So, we will uh, discuss these five principles in detail. So, first is numerical representation, all the numer uh, media objects can be described is uh, represented mathematically, which uh, computer stores the information uh, stored in the computer is a mathematical information, which transforms uh, into a display system and we understand that uh, the, uh, we do not see the mathematical uh, code behind the uh, new media uh, uh, design. We see a visible uh, display. It can be in uh, terms of text, it can be in terms of uh, videography, sound, it can be in terms of um, still pictures. So, uh, be, uh, because of this numerical uh, representation manipulation using algorithm is possible, which was not possible in the uh, form of tangible old traditional media. So, new media design for example, um, other um, the manipulation using uh, algorithm is like noise reduction, uh, reduction, we can reduce the noise uh, digitally after um, creating first numeric, uh, the mother copy of the uh, digital um, uh, media. Then uh, we can also increase, uh, for, for example, we can increase or decrease color contrast after creating uh, the visual. So, these are possible be, uh, because the information stored is uh, in uh, terms, uh, terms of mathematical numbers. The another thing is, the information stored uh, has the same pattern, the same basic modular is repeated to store an information. The same module can be uh, scaled up, can be scaled down, can, within a module, uh, the same uh, module can be repeated. So, it is, it has a actually, uh, it has a, a fractal structure. So, the fractal uh, structures um, uh, is uh, represented in infographically here. So, all the informations in digital media are, has the same modular um, unit. So, the modular unit uh, uh, can be uh, can, can be like uh, pixels to uh, represent a 2D image, it can be a voxel to represent a 3D uh, image, a 3D, um, a 3D uh, digital image like a, uh, when we are de uh, designing an animation, 3D animation, we are creating a, um, a character of a 3D animation, all uh, informations of a 3D, um, uh, 3D informations are represented in terms of voxels. And similarly, uh, characters and scripts uh, help to um, uh, um, uh, represent the uh, um, uh, typography, image and all the informations in uh, digital media. 
So the next uh, characteristics is automation. Automation is actually possible because of numeric uh, and modular representation of new, um, the possibility of modular representation and numeric uh, coding of uh, new media. So uh, for example, if we have a template which is a, a already automated uh, template and we can create a web website based on the same template. Multiple website can be uh, created from based on a particular single template. Even the Photoshop filters, uh, so there are already programmed filters in Photoshop and other uh, uh, graph, uh, digital graphics uh, tool like Illustrator and others. So there are filters which uh, the uh, prop, uh, prop, proper algor um, algorithm is written uh, for this filter and we can have different image to go through that, uh, that filter and transform into a particular uh, visual uh, style, uh, stylistic visual. So, for example, we, uh, in the first, uh, we have a um, digit, uh, we have a photograph, a real photograph of um, Prince of Ghat in Kolkata, and on the right hand side, we have uh, Katsushika Hokusai's uh, Great Wave. So, Great Wave is a famous uh, wood uh, woodcut painting. So, this is actually a filter which. Uh, uh, new uh, mobile based uh, application um, is gener uh, generated a filter which has the visual quality of this painting Katsushika Hokusai is a uh, great wave. So visual qualities are deciphered in terms of elements of design. So same uh, blue colors, the color tones of blue, the line qualities and uh, the textures are taken from this uh, original painting. And if we see the color of this is actually different, the color of this is also a different uh, tone. But when uh, I have applied the filter which is uh, derived from Katsushika Hokusai's uh, Great Wave to the original uh, pic, uh, photograph, the, this color is changed into the original um, um, uh, the inspiration of uh, where the uh, filter is inspired from this Great Wave's color. So the elements um, of design is changed and then the, the line qualities which uh, where we see in the wave are also repeated over here in this um, to uh, depict the cloud. So the line qualities are also borrowed from uh, this uh, uh, great uh, the painting of Hokushai and translated into the um, image. So uh, by this way actually uh, the elements of designs are transformed and merged with the uh, image by the uh, uh, by the principle of automation this is only possible because of uh, new media applications and uh, the new media applications all these images are actually uh, um, uh, stored in uh, mathematical numbers and module um, uh, in uh, modular format that's why the uh, and, and a pre uh, previously coded algorithm uh, which is uh, taken from this uh, this image can be applied on the other image. So this is possible in new media which was not uh, possible in the old and traditional media digitally. So the another uh, quality of another uh, characteristics of new media is variability. So the, it can, the new media objects are not fixed forever. So it can be manipulated in variable format. So there is a uh, uh, because this, this is also uh, uh, happening because of the modularity and numerical coding which, uh, we dis uh, which are the first two characteristics we uh, discussed. So for example, uh, from the mother uh, copy we can change, we can uh, make many other different copies, we can change the format of the copies. For example, uh, when a movie releases, the movie can also be uh, seen in uh, mobile which uh, can also be um, transform into a fit into the screen of a particular aspect ratio. For example, uh, the uh, flight uh, uh, in, in the flight there are this uh, movie uh, display uh, systems where the movie is uh, digitally mo uh, modified to fit into the that display system which we see in the uh, flights. So uh, for example, we have uh, we have this a uh, project Humpy which is created by UNESCO for conservation of Humpy of uh, in, uh, India, uh, so uh, uh, which is a UNESCO uh, World Heritage Site, so digitally. So uh, digitally, uh, what UNESCO did, uh, digitally documented, uh, digitally photographed Hampi and created a 360 degree panoramic view of Hampi. 
So, Humpy this project, uh, so uh, then uh, this project is actually digitally stored and they can display this in any form uh, in a 360 degree pan panoramic view in any uh, part of the world. So, this uh, after documenting there can be multiple copies. So, people do not need to go to the Hampi and see the monuments uh, of uh, uh, traditional Indian monuments. So, they can be uh, this uh, Hampi uh, uh, project is also uh, displayed in Australia. So, uh, people uh, can go to Australia and Australian people can also see uh, this project by uh, just going there and digitally experiencing what uh, was uh, what is there in the um, uh, Indian heritage site Hampi. So, again uh, so simultaneously this project can be shown in many uh, uh, places of the um, uh, uh, places of the world and uh, in many format. We can see this uh, thing in uh, TV, television, we can see this in uh, laptop, we can see this in mobile, also we can see this in this kind of uh, 360 degree panoramic uh, screen. So, the another uh, characteristics, another uh, possibility with a new media um, platform is transcoding. It is an interface between human and computer. The computer um, understands a different language, but human perceives a different language. But uh, new media can cater to, uh, beca because of the digital platform, uh, it can cater, uh, new media can cater to uh, the computer, uh, it, can, it can take the benefits of computer uh, programming um, and also it can display things to human being. And so, uh, there is another term uh, we have to discuss here is hypermedia, it is an extension of hypertexting and where the non-linear heuristic uh, uh, interaction happens between user and computer. So, uh, if we have hypertext, so pe uh, people can select a particular hypertext and they can select the uh, particular path which we, uh, we, we were uh, discussing in the beginning of the, uh, the lecture. So, uh, a process of co-evolution, co-creation and co-design is there and uh, which unfolded because of the new media paradigm. So, uh, for example, website, mobile application game which we have, uh, which uh, we, can, um, uh, we, we can interact as the way we want. And uh, there are also some uh, uh, multimedia where which, which ca cannot be uh, that interactive, for example, animation movie and digital graphics, but still we can pause the, uh, we can switch, um, uh, uh, we can pause the movie again re uh, rewind and see it again, which was not possible in the traditional media like scroll, pa uh, uh, scroll painting and uh, perf uh, if we are seeing a performance in uh, theatre. So, uh, these are the characteristics of a new media and uh, we will again discuss de in detail in the next uh, lecture. how. Uh, visual communication design can affect in uh, can be applied in new media paradigm thank you